Well, hello there, my name is HW, and no, I'm not doing a demo of this camera. It's actually, I've got the Kemper in front of me today, see? It's right, it's right there. Ah, the magic of editing. Anyway, guys, um, here is uh, the tip and trick for this week, and um, it's an interesting one. Uh, it's not one that is gonna like change your life, but it might be really good as like a workflow technique. Did you know you can move the order of effects around? Uh, pretty easily. So let's try with the stomps. I'm playing this Lone Star 1-4 profile with a telly. It sounds like this. Okay, cool. It sounds like a, you know, cleanish American style amp uh, with a telly. Well, check this out. If you hold down the stomp button, you're going to see the effects I have here. Compressor, uh, chromatic pitch shifter, green scream, and soft shaper. Now, if you want to move these effects around, you could, of course, copy and paste, but you can actually change the order of these effects by actually using these little move effect and select buttons. So check this out. See right here where it says selected over the word compressor? Well, you can actually move that over. So let's say I want to take this green scream and I want to hit um, select. So I want to I want to select green screen and I want to hit move effect. Now my little select button switch to move. Now look at that. Look at the lights on the Kemper. I'm moving the green screen around in relation to the other effects. Isn't that cool? Now you might be saying HW. Why is this useful? Why should I care that I can move effects around? Well, it's an interesting way to do this. Here is my Lone Star 1-4, and this is it with a Tube Screamer. Now, here is that same profile, same guitar, but instead of a Tube Screamer, I'm using a Soft Shaper, a sort of a light, uh, transparent overdrive. Okay, one's a tube screamer, one's like a lightish overdrive. Lightish overdrive. Switching on the tube screamer. Now, if I stack those together, it sounds like this. Sounds fine. Sounds like a lead sound I could use if I was on this amp and I wanted a little more dirt, uh, and then I just wanted to kick in a little bit of uh, uh, tube screamery sort of mid-range push to get me a little further into lead territory. But uh, you may know that putting a tube screamer before a gain stage is a lot different than putting it after a gain stage. In fact, putting it before a gain stage sends a lot more mid-range into that soft shaper, and so that soft shaper is seeing a different thing. Um, than when it just saw the guitar by itself, meaning the signal from the guitar isn't making it to the soft shaper. The soft shaper is now seeing the guitar plus some dirt and a lot of mid-range. So what happens if I use this effect and I go ahead and I select that Tube Screamer and I move it uh, behind the soft shaper? I hit OK and I back out. Now I've got that soft shaper in front of the Tube Screamer. And what you're gonna get is a lot more of that Tube Screamery kind of mid-range. <laughs> Moving it back. It's a lot more saturated, it's a lot different. This isn't meant to be a lesson in how can a Tube Screamer sound before or after a gain stage, especially a gain stage as light as this sort of soft shaper. But it is meant to show you that there's a cool little workflow tip that you can use here uh, if you just want to rearrange effects. It can also be really useful if you want to take a delay and say move it to the front of the amp or behind the amp. So let's try that. So let's take... Um, well, no, we couldn't even do that because you can only move these effects you can only move the stomps. 
HW, you can't even do that. Well, you, you, could, it, you could just move a compressor around or move a pitch shifter. Here's one. What happens if we take this uh, harmonic pitch shifter and put it in front or behind, uh, you know, a, a gain state? <laughs> Sounds cool, right? Let's try taking it and putting it behind, behind that tube screamer. Boom, what did we do there? Nope, we didn't do it, sorry. Uh, I've got the green scream and I'm gonna move it. There we go, green scream is now in front of the harmonic pitch shifter and let's try that. <laughs> Not a ton of difference, but it's a cool workflow tip. I've been HW. Thanks so much for watching Tone Jagged TV. Hope that was helpful to some people because it's a cool way to not have to use like the copy and paste function to sort of move effects around, especially if you want to add a different type of effect and maybe maybe you want to add a compressor. You didn't have a compressor before and you usually want that in slot A, but you already put a, um, an overdrive you like or you already put a, a chorus or something you like in slot A. Well, this is a great way to not have to delete that compressor. Um, I'm HW. Thanks so much. HW, out.